Hey, what's up everybody? This is Keegan here and welcome back to the channel and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys and welcome to another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews and in today's review I'm actually going to be reviewing three movies this time kind of like my last review I did. I, re I reviewed three movies only this time these three movies are actually part of a trilogy and today the trilogy I'm going to be talking about is the Human Centipede Trilogy. Yep. I'm going to be reviewing all three of the Human Centipede movies in one video. These are some pretty nasty movies. I got to tell you that. These are some pretty nasty movies. But uh, I don't really have too much else to add. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the first Human Centipede movie. So starting off with the first Human Centipede movie, which was written and directed by Tom Six, who directed all three of the Human Centipede movies. And it was released on September 26, 2009. And had a lot of controversy due to its disturbing, sick nature of the movie. And it was actually banned in several countries because of it. Well, let's get into the storyline of the movie and I will give my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into the Human Centipede first sequence. So the human centipede follows these two women that go on a trip to Europe and they stop in Germany to go exploring. One night they try to go out to a club but they get lost trying to find this club they try to go to. And then their car breaks down in the middle of the, in the, middle of the forest in the middle of the night. So they're trying to look for some help when they happen to come across a German doctor who... Um, tricks them into thinking he was going to help them get help, but instead drugs them into the basement where there's a secret laboratory or something in the basement. And he's basically trying to make a, quote, human centipede. Well, as like the title suggests, that's what he's trying to make. And they he kidnaps another person, this time a Japanese man, as the first part of the centipede, there's three people that are supposed to be in the centipede. One person is in the front, one person's in the middle, and one person's in the back. And this is kind of awkward to say, but the people in the back have their mouth stitched to the other person's anus. Ugh, that's, that's, that's probably the cringiest thing I've probably said on this channel, but that's how the human centipede is made. And, um... There are some pretty messed up scenes in this movie. Well, I wouldn't say it's not nearly as disturbing as everyone said it was. Well, there is one particular scene that I found pretty disgusting. I'm not going to say it because I don't feel like spoiling anyone's appetite. But if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. And, um, well, that's basically the story of the movie in a nutshell. And now, my thoughts on the movie. Now, what are you, you guys are probably thinking, what did I think of The Human Centipede? I gotta be honest with you guys, I actually thought it was pretty good, to be honest. It was pretty interesting and pretty original, and thankfully not a remake of anything. And I think it's safe to say that this movie will probably never get a remake. Well, hopefully it doesn't. But uh, there are some pretty gross scenes well there is one particularly gross scene that i said i wouldn't mention but that's really the only scene that was kind of disturbing but honestly i don't think it's as bad as everyone said it, say it is well don't get me wrong there are a few gross scenes in it but i don't think it's that bad i actually thought this movie was pretty good Sure, it's not a masterpiece or anything, but at least it's something original, I will say. At least it's not just some generic slasher, ghost, any other just generic horror movie. It's actually something original. But there are some pretty disturbing parts in this movie, and one very gross scene that I'm not going to get into, like I said before, for the third time in a row. But... I honestly enjoyed it for what it is. It's certainly a movie, whether you like it or you don't like it. I know a lot of people aren't really big fans of the movie. I guess they're just not, they just couldn't handle it. I guess they just couldn't handle it. 
But I didn't think it was that bad, but I actually thought it was pretty good. But I don't really have too much else to say, but if I guess I could recommend it if you like watching horror movies that are bizarre and just far out. I'd say it's good. But I don't really have too much else to add, but I'm going to give the Human Centipede first sequence a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. I actually thought this movie was pretty good. But now let's move on to the two sequels and then we'll wrap up this review. So let's move on to The Human Centipede 2 Full Sequence. The Human Centipede Part 2 Full Sequence. Oh boy. This movie is a lot more messed up than the first one is. But we'll get into that in just a second. And The Human Centipede Part... I mean, The Human Centipede 2 was written and directed by Tom Six, who, like I said at the beginning of the video, directed all three of these movies. And this movie was released on September 22nd, 2011, and was immediately met with controversy and was banned throughout the world due to its disturbingly gruesome nature. And I must say, it's a lot more extreme than the first movie is. And... The movie is so graphic, they actually, Tom Six was forced to make it, the movie, all in black and white. Although there is a colored version you can watch if you have the Screen Factory triple feature set on Blu-ray, which I do have, and exactly I use to watch all three of these movies. But, well, let's get into the storyline first, and then I will give my thoughts on this movie. So, let's dive into The Human Centipede 2 full sequence. So, The Human Centipede 2 starts off with the main character named Martin, played by Lawrence R. Harvey. And he has finished watching The Human Centipede, the first movie. And he basically, he's a, he's a pretty, he was a security guard, and he's a pretty messed up. He was sexually abused really badly when he was a kid by his father and he is pretty unstable and he's became a huge fan of the human centipede movie which gives him the idea to try to make his own human centipede and then from there he starts kidnapping random people who come near him at a parking garage which is where he's the security guard for a par parking garage at some unnamed building and then he starts kidnapping some people he kidnapped like around 12 people in total so he made the human centipede bigger than the one from the first movie and i gotta tell you this movie is way more messed up and way more disturbing than the first movie and the movie is pretty gory and they the director was actually forced to make the movie in black and white, like I said before. And it's not hard to see why this movie got banned in several countries and censored in some countries. But, man, I got, like, well, it, it's a pretty screwed up movie, man. Like, I don't even have the words to describe it. But I will say, it's not the most disturbing movie I've ever seen, but that is definitely not a compliment. It's definitely up there, but not the absolute most disturbing movie I've ever seen. But there are some pretty nasty scenes and some pretty screwed up scenes. There is one scene that really shocks me. There's a part where he is masturbating and he puts a sandpaper on his you-know-what and he is basically shredding his thing like... Oh my god, that was like, Jesus. Like, god damn, that's gotta hurt. But yeah, there's some pretty messed up scenes in this movie. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail on them. It's a pretty messed up movie. It's much more disturbing than the first movie was. And, ugh, it's, it's gross. But overall, I thought this movie was... Yeah, it was it was okay, I guess. I was not too big of a fan. I will say I like the first one, but this one was just eh, meh. 
But there are some pretty messed up scenes in it, like, ugh. I don't know if I could ever watch it again. The first one, I guess I could watch again, but this one, eh, meh. It's, it's alright, I guess. But I don't really have too much else to say, but it is a pretty messed up movie. But I'm just going to give, I'm going to give The Human Centipede 2 full sequence a 5 out of 10. That's all I can say about it. Now let's move on to the third and final movie in the trilogy. And finally, on to the third movie in the trilogy and the worst movie in the trilogy. The Human Centipede 3, final sequence. And like, and, and like I said, this one was written and directed by Tom Six, who directed all three of the movies. And this one was released on May 22nd, 2015. And this one is not so much a horror movie, unlike the first two, but it's more of a comedy. Because on the tagline, it's 100% politically incorrect. Well, it is definitely politically incorrect. But we'll get to my thoughts on that in a bit. But right now, let's talk about the story of the movie. And then we'll get my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into the Human Centipede 3 final sequence. Now, I'm not going to talk about the storyline for this movie for long. But it's kind of basic. So, the storyline follows a prison warden and his banker. Who are struggling to c control a prison somewhere in Texas, and then all of a sudden, a governor, played by Eric Roberts, surprisingly, is threatening to fire them if they can't control the chaos in the prison. So, for some reason, they decide to make a human centipede using all the prisoners in the prison, like all the inmates, and they all turn them into human centipedes. And, basically, that's the storyline of the movie. So, I'm going to give my thoughts on it now. Now, this one's not really much of a horror movie. Like I said before, it's more of a comedy. But the problem with it is, it's, I, didn't very find, I didn't find it that funny. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love politically incorrect comedy. It's my favorite kind of comedy. Sadly, you don't really see it these days. But, yeah. But, it's not really much of a horror movie. It's more of a comedy. But, it's not really that funny. There is a lot of gross out humor, which is just childish. And I get it's trying to be edgy and it's trying to be funny, but I don't know. It just didn't really work out for me. And you don't really see a human centipede in the movie until around the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. And that's literally the only time you see a human centipede. It's like around the end of the movie. But overall, this movie was pretty bad like I didn't really like this movie that much it was pretty stupid and just I don't know it's just I didn't like it as much as the first one now the second one was meh and the third movie is definitely the worst one in the franchise but I'll say the first one was probably the best but I don't really have too much else to add other than it's just I can't even remember too much of what happened in it because it's pretty forgettable. Now the first two are pretty memorable due to its shock value, but this one just wasn't even that shocking at all. Come to think of it, it was kind of nasty. A little more nasty than the other two movies, surprisingly, but I don't know. It's just I didn't really like it as much, but I don't have, really have too much else to say, but I'm going to give The Human Centipede the Human Centipede 3 final sequence, I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10. But uh, that's all I really have to say. Well, that wraps up another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. Please leave a comment below. Subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on Instagram and Letterboxd. The link to those are in the description down below. And what are your thoughts on these three movies? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Keaton Shepard. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.